The Immigration Court backlog passed 3 million pending cases in November of 2023. I'm back with Courtney from the Fact Check team. And Courtney, let's start with how long has this been going on? It's definitely not new, Dee Dee. The Immigration Court system has been dealing with backlogs for years, but the caseload started getting significantly worse in 2019 and 2020. For context, in December of 2016, there was a backlog of just under 534,000 cases. By December of 2019, it was over a million. And by December of 2022, it was over 2 million. And we know the Biden administration is hiring more judges. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything else being done? So there are a few proposals out there, but nothing set in stone yet. The Senate is working to pass a bipartisan deal that would reduce the time it takes to process asylum cases in hopes of shrinking that backlog. But the bill faces some serious hurdles and has been called dead on arrival if it reaches the House. Now, the House also has a bill called the Secure the Border Act that would limit eligibility for asylum and require migrants to wait for their court date in Mexico, but there hasn't been any recent movement on that, and it's also unlikely to pass. All right, Courtney, thank you, and so much more to discuss. For more yeah. on this fact check team topic, including links to their sources, scan the QR code on your screen or visit thenationaldesk.com.